Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. Um, you may have noticed I have a virtual background. Um, I've suddenly discovered this little bit of technology and been playing around with it. And uh, this background is actually one of my favorite icons. So I'm going to share my screen in a moment so that you can see the icon in full. And then I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So hopefully now you can see this icon in full and I'll just explain a bit about it. Um, I'll use my uh, mouse pointer there just to move around. Hopefully you can see that there now. And this icon was painted in the 15th century by um, an icon painter or writer, as they're more correctly called, called Andre Rublev. And it's a really, really famous icon. You may well have seen it. It often turns up in churches and all over the place. And it's, um, it's basically the hospitality of Abraham. That is its first name, because this is depicting the scene in Genesis chapter 18, where Abraham entertains three angels. And you can see there, this is, um, if I use my pointer, this little bit here, this tree, this represents the oak at Mamre, which is where apparently the angels came to Abraham. This is supposed to be Abraham's house in the background. Um, I think it's a bit more of a 15th century house rather than the sort of thing that Abraham would have lived in, but hey, artistic license. And uh, if I can find my mouse again, there we go. So these are the three angels, but it's also, um, you can see that they've got their, they've got wings. Here are their wings. You can just see one wing outlined there, and then a, another wing outlined here. And there's the others on the other side. And they're each carrying a staff. There's a line which runs straight up through their hand. And this one's staff is at a diagonal angle. You can see there, and they have halos around the heads, as you can see. So this is the angels under the oak of Mamre enjoying Abraham's hospitality. But the much more significant meaning behind this icon is that it represents the Holy Trinity. So on this side, you have God the Father. On this side, you have God the Holy Spirit. And in the center, you have God the Son, Jesus. Now, there is loads and loads of symbolism in this icon, and I could probably do a talk for an hour on it, uh, given half a chance, but I won't do that this morning. So I'm just going to point out some a few just really important points, the main points from this. So if I bring my mouse back, there we are. So you can see that there is a kind of a circular movement going on in this icon, and you can see there that Jesus is looking towards God the Father, as he does in everything in the Bible. And God the Father is looking towards the Spirit, who is looking towards Jesus. So the Spirit points us to Jesus, and it continues in a perfect circle, round and round and round, never ending, representing the circle of the Trinity. And down here, this little funny little box here at the bottom, that is supposed to represent a window into the world. And this space here is where we are invited to sit at the table with the Trinity to form part of that circle. And uh, there's an interesting little thing that if you hold a ring up to this icon, you will be able to see that they are in a perfect circle. You can hold the ring up to the icon and you will see the three and ourselves at the bottom of the icon in a perfect circle. So that's just a few little bits. It's one of my absolute favorite icons, which is why I decided to have it as my background. And if I stop sharing now and we go back, um, I'm not facing the right way. I should be facing in to look at the, uh, the Trinity, but here I am sitting in the appropriate place in the icon. It did take me a little while and a bit of jiggery pokery to get it to work, but I hope you like it. 
Now, today I would like to try something completely different. Um, one of the things that I do personally when I'm praying is I meditate. And uh, sometimes people can be a little bit worried about meditation because they think, oh, is it a bit pagan? Am I going to be emptying my mind and who knows what will come into it? Uh, but the meditation that I use is uh, by a monk in the world. His name, his real name is David Cole, but he, his monk name is Brother Cassian. And he is a member of the Order of Aidan and Hilda. And uh, he has done lots of recorded meditations, which you can find on an app called Insight Timer. And I use his meditations quite regularly in my own private prayer. And I thought I would share one with you this morning. So this is a picture that I took um, of Goliath Falls uh, down in uh, Devon, Cornwall area. And uh, this is from a holiday many, many years ago, but I thought it was quite a nice photograph to share with you. I hope that you like it. And I'm going to play the meditation now. So just sit back, listen to what uh, Brother Cassian has to say and enjoy. This guided meditation is brought to you by waymarkministries.com. Begin by sitting in a comfortable position where your lungs have full capacity to breathe deeply. Close your eyes and listen the sounds of the birds. Become aware of your breathing rhythm, a gentle inhale and exhale. As you breathe, make your rhythm slightly deeper and slightly slower. As you listen to the birds, draw a little more breath in and draw it in a bit more slowly than your natural breathing rhythm. And as you exhale, exhale all of the air from your lungs a little slower in your natural breathing rhythm. Become fully relaxed as you hear the sound of the birds.
Jesus spoke to his disciples, he said to them, consider the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap. Yet your father in heaven cares for them. Not one sparrow will fall to the ground without the loving father knowing that this living creature has done so. How much more, Jesus says, are you worth to God? As you listen to the birds, become aware of the divine presence. Become aware that it is a presence of love that cares for you. Rest at ease in peace knowing you are loved and cared for by the divine.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the beauty of your creation. We thank you for the sound of the birds. We thank you that we can just as well pray out in the open air as we can in a church or in our own home. You are always there with us no matter where we are when we turn to you. We pray, Lord, that you will go with us into this day, that you will be with us in each encounter. And we pray that you will bless our work, our rest, whatever it is we have planned today, and that we will feel you with us through every moment. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope that you enjoyed that meditation. If you'd like to know more about our Brother Cassian, then if you go on to waymarkministries.com, you can find out more about him. That's his website. And uh, he does retreats. Uh, I've been on one of his online retreats, which was really good too. In fact, actually one personal one and one group uh, retreat, which was really great if you can't actually get away physically. Um, but go and have a look. And if you're into apps, then uh, download Insight Timer and you will find lots of different meditations on there. Um, you will find some which are sort of yoga meditations and that kind of thing, which may not be your cup of tea. Perhaps it is. Um, but if you search on there for Christian meditation, you will find Brother Cassian and you'll find others there who are offering Christian meditation. Uh, so I would encourage you to go and have a look. And whatever you're doing today, I hope that you have a great day and I will see you next week. God bless.